Hi guys, Queen of Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to take two of this video. So uh, this image is from Duria Draws. Uh, I got it from her Etsy and I will link to that below. Uh, and we're going to do this entirely in grays, uh, monochrome color palette. So I have pulled a whole bunch of my Ohuhu markers out of various sets because uh, I don't have all of the grays in one set. And so I actually started recording this and um, it did not go well. So maybe there will be some outtakes at the end, but um, I, I, some of these uh, Ohuhus are very dark for being like a warm gray one or two. And he, he came out, he came out looking a little funky. So I, I went back through my markers and um, looked to see what I, what I had in the Ohuhus and grabbed a, a couple, um, a couple out of multiple sets. And so we're going to give this a take too. I've never done anything like this before working in a uh, monochrome palette. So it's going to be interesting, but you know, it's fun to try new, new things. So hopefully this will be a better, uh, better start than my first attempt. Uh, so I'm going to go in with, this is warm gray 0.5 which is the warm gray zero which is still pretty dark i feel like but we'll see what it looks like when it when it dries um but yeah i tried uh neutral starting out with like a neutral gray for his skin tone and it was like a neutral gray 03 and it was it was funky oh so we're gonna try this and then bring in some of the the neutral grays this looks very peach for a warm gray but we're rolling with it it says gray so what we're doing and if this goes well maybe i will do uh do a few more of these single color tutorials All right, I'll give that a minute and move down here. So I actually have some references of black and white uh, photos on my phone that I was looking at before I started this and I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to do it all in just like a like a neutral gray palette like how I wanted to do this because I'm a little afraid that if I start mixing my, my warm grays and my cool grays and whatnot that it's gonna look like disjointed but I really just, I, I don't know, I couldn't wrap my brain around his face just looking like part raccoon and part like he'd seen a ghost. So I had to, I had to make some, some adjustments. We'll see how, how this goes. 
these dry a little streakier than um than the Copics. But since I just did a video recently using the Copics, I figured I would bring out um the Ohuhus. So this is the warm gray O1. Oh, I forgot to do his ears. All right. So we will, we will see how this goes. But it's fun to do, uh, do different stuff. And I debated just carrying on with the, the first recording, but it was really, I felt like beyond salvageable. I'll I'll show you guys at the end. I will um I will throw that in at the end and you can see my mini like my mini meltdown. We'll 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 do an outtake at the end of this video. Let's go back to The, uh, this is the warm gray zero. If I have to, I can bring in the uh, the colorless blender, but we'll see. How it goes. All right, so let's leave that for a minute. And let us do Hold on a second. Let's see here. Let's do for the hair. Let's see how this looks. So this is warm gray 04. All right, let's do So this is the warm gray O one that I used for his skin tone. 
And it's like, I'm, I'm, I gotta remember that I'm working all in this neutral palette, so it's not a huge deal if um, things are similar colors, because that's how it would look if I did this as a uh, black and white photo. And I do like the brush tips on um on these ohuhu markers. Let's see. Um, you know what? Let's since we're working with the warm grays, let's try bringing in. This is red gray o three. And we'll go back to this. I don't know why I did that. I guess I just kind of wanted to see how that looked if I put that on some of the shading on the cheeks. We'll have to see how it looks when it dries. Okay, um, let's come down to his his shirt. This is warm gray oh five. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna color the whole shirt. I think I might just see how it looks if I just do like some of the uh the shading. Because I'm, you know, I'm actually kind of liking the way it looks with just the, um, the warm grays. So I might just stick, um, I might just stick with those. So it'll end up being kind of like a sepia gray.
All right, yeah, let's bring this down here. Let's go with, dude, I don't understand. Oh, this is so weird. Okay, so the warm gray three in this set is actually darker than the, the 05 in the other set. So confused. That's cool, Gray. I don't want that. Let's. This is the red gray O three. Don't really care for how the pants are turning out. Let's all right, let's leave that for right now and let's work on. The, um, whatchamacallit, back here. So let's try, this is warm gray four. I'm just going to do this in the uh, the shadows here. Yeah, I think we're going to stick with the, uh, the warm grays and the red grays for the whole image. Because now that I've gotten this far, I feel like if I throw, if I throw a, uh, like a cool gray or whatnot in here, that it's going to look funky.
Uh, let's see. What do I got back here? Well, that's a warm gray 09. That is a big jump. So let's. And that is my, my, no, that's not, that is not my lightest. Let's, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just roll with it. So this is warm gray 09. Just on a couple spots. And I think it will help kind of separate um, our character here from the, uh, the bike. Okay, so we can come back to that. Let's move on to our tree back here. And I'm going to start with this warm gray 04. And I'm just going along some of these uh, darker areas.
This is the warm gray zero. And let's this is the warm gray one. We'll have to come back and do his eyes. I forgot about that. And let's do... This is warm gray three. Okay, let's do uh, So this is the red gray O3 and I think I'm going to use that for the buildings just to kind of them apart and I'm not going to color the entire building I'm just going to add a little bit of um, separation here
then we'll come over here and do the same thing. All right, let's come back to our guy. I want to see if I can tone down some of the cheeks. And let's here. All right, so. Oh, where did my blender go? I know I brought a blender out. Normally, I don't use the blenders, but I feel like that's the only way I'm going to get uh, this evened out with the colors that I have, so...
I actually like the Ohuhu colorless blenders better than the uh, the Copic. At least for using them with the alcohol markers. So, one thing you got to be careful with uh, with colorless blenders with alcohol markers is it's basically like applying bleach to your image. So if you're not careful and um, don't go sparingly and basically just take your colorless blender and scrub it all over your image with reckless abandon, um, it can actually dilute your color out so much that a uh, looks like you put bleach on your image and um i've noticed especially with the copics certain colors it will actually cause to um shift but i do want to soften some of these areas up so i am going to use the blender for for this I'm just gonna be very careful about Uh, I feel like my buildings need just a little
So I'm just kind of like letting things dry in between layers. Um, if you've watched any of my other uh, videos where I've worked with alcohol markers, I mentioned um, that sometimes it's better to give things a chance to dry because they will look darker when you first uh, put the marker down when it's wet and um, giving it a chance to dry and then coming back in is sometimes a, uh, a good idea. All right, I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to push this more or let's see what I have over here. Do I only have one? I think I only have one red gray out of all of my Ohuhu markers. The rest of these are cool and green gray. And I don't want to bring, I don't want to bring those in. Um, let's see. The warm gray 09 was a little... Um, a little much. All right, I think that's um, I think that's where I'm gonna leave it. I like it. It's different than well anything that I've really done before on uh, on this channel or at all. But it was fun. It was um, neat to be able to work with a limited color palette and see what I could come up with. And it's uh, yeah. So I had a lot of fun with this. I will. I will do my best to kind of compile the um, the markers that I use, the colors. But I did notice that there were a few, because um, I pulled these from different Ohuhu sets. And some of them have similar... Um, like... Uh, numbers on, on them but they're different um different values so like i have this warm gray 0 0.5 that i don't know i'll have to go through uh through the markers and and look and see what uh what i can come up with um but i will Put, uh, put these in the description below and really like looking at it 
it was pretty much just these mark this this set of markers so but um i'm gonna leave you guys with a little outtake from the first the first attempt at this and uh if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more be sure to like subscribe hit the bell and get notified to uh find out when i post additional content and i will see you guys in the next one thank you so much it's in the shadow so let's just see where this goes and how it dries I may need to pull some um some grays from one of my other sets because this is this is a little darker than I would have liked to have started. Let me see what I've got over on the other side. Mm, what are we gonna do? Yeah, I don't know why this set doesn't have a um, neutral gray one in it. Let's see what happens if I grab We're gonna have to see how this looks once it once it dries. I don't know, maybe I'll just go full noir with it and just so it does lighten up fairly well, but I guess it just depends. I'm going to have to figure out what look I'm going for. I want to keep the whole thing cool toned. It just looks super, super tan. Not sure how I feel about this. Let's. See what. Gosh, these. Are. Way darker than I was anticipating. Why do I not have Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it.